Okay, so yesterday we built the uh, basic box for the dust collection manifold for the mobile sanding center. Put it in the clamps, I let it dry overnight. Today I've come out taking it out of the clamps and the first thing that I did was I cut trim to cover the ends of the plywood on all four sides. Okay? After I did that, I then cut two pieces of plywood and they are sized to fit just inside with just enough room for it to move up and down. So two square pieces of plywood, same size, cut just to fit inside here. On one of those pieces, I've now added poplar trim. Three quarter inch on the ends, inch and a half on the two long sides. So that when this is all put together, this piece will be glued in registration with the piece that it matches. And this will form the lid that will go on this box. I don't want this to fall off. The lid will fit here. And because of the way the trim is done, the trim will look like the trim on the mobile sanding center. So now all we got to do is a little bit of sanding, glue this uh, piece of plywood to this piece of plywood to finish off the lid, and then we can start installing all of the things that are going to make this a dust collection manifold and the power center for the sanders. So let's get to work. All right, while the uh, rest of the top assembly is drying and the clamps, I went ahead and wired up our uh, electrical box. Two receptacles, four outlets in total in this uh, duplex box here. And I set it in here and marked where the little tabs are. So what I'm going to do is use a little uh, CA glue and put it in those areas where the uh, where I marked them off. And I'm going to set this in place and glue it in. All right, I'm jumping around here a little bit while the glue is drying, but I've cut a piece of wood here that is the uh, width of the plywood inside the frame. So it's eight and a half inches long, and it's basically the same trim pieces I was using on the box, three quarter by three quarter. And I'm just gonna glue that on here parallel with the edge of the uh, plywood. Press that down nice and tight. And that'll be enough to hold it until it dries. All right, now we've got the uh, blast gates. And uh, what I did was I took a little sandpaper and just roughed up the surface a little bit. And now I'm going to use some two-part epoxy just around this hole and just a little bit on the surface and epoxy these into place on the dust manifold. Don't need to get too crazy with this. This epoxy is gonna, gonna hold it just fine. It's gonna go slightly outside the circle here and up just a little bit. sure we don't have any drips coming through here. And I want to put this in without getting any on the inside of the plastic. There we go. And I'm just going to push that down firmly. And we'll do the other one. Alright, well it is after all a sanding center. And uh, since we have this nice uh, top for the dust manifold, 
I uh, have glued a piece of wood across here that's basically going to serve as a fence. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mount a hacksaw blade here and I'm going to draw lines on here which will be the reference lines for cutting different size sheets of sandpaper. And what I've done is I've put some tape down here so just so I can end my lines sharply and I've already marked off where I want the lines to be. I've got the uh, hacksaw blade in place and uh, I've pre-drilled holes, mounting holes for that. So first thing to do is let me draw these lines on here. The first line is at eight and a quarter inches from the outside edge of this blade. And I'm using a fine tipped Sharpie permanent marker and it makes a pretty good line on the wood and I tested it with the finish that I've been using and the finish doesn't smear the ink. The next line over is five and a half inches from the outside edge or the cutting edge of this blade. And that five and a half inches will allow you to cut a sheet of sandpaper in half. Our sandpaper is nine by 11 inches. So that five and a half inch dimension is for tearing it in half across the width of the unit of the sheet. The next line is at four and a half inches. And the last line is at two and three quarters. And this should accommodate any size sheets of sandpaper that you like to use. But if you like other sizes, draw additional lines. Okay, with the lines marked out on there now, I can remove the tape. We have nice sharp ends. Got a little pencil marks here I gotta get off, but that, uh, that's okay. Now I'm gonna take the tape off that was temporarily holding this blade in place. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some uh, number six wood screws. These are round head Phillips wood screws. And I've got a small, very small, rubberized washer, and then a regular steel washer and that's going to go in here and that'll hold the blade up just enough to be able to get the uh, sandpaper under it when you're ready to cut. Now this is the tricky part where you need a third hand. There we go. do is screw those in and we're good to go. Alright so now our lid for the dust collection manifold is sort of a multi-purpose unit. You can uh, put in a piece of sandpaper this way and line it up or you can line it up and cut it in half or you can turn it this way and cut it in uh, thirds, or I'm sorry, fourths, and uh, use it on your prepping weapon. So just a few finishing touches here on the dust manifold. The lid is finished. I notched it out here for the blast gates, and uh, it drops right into place, and the weight and the vacuum on it from the dust collection will hold it in place. And of course we've got our little deal here for cutting sandpaper. We've got another blast gate over here on this side and I've connected up the hoses to these two sanders. I have a future or a connection that I can use for a handheld sander um, off on a workpiece. 
I just tied up these cords to neaten it up a little bit. I've got a couple extra plugs here. Again, one could be used for a handheld sander. And temporarily, I've connected it to the dust collection system. Well, I think I'm gonna sand this now and put a little finish on it. And we'll wrap this project up and be ready for the next one. I can't wait to start filling up all these drawers and making some more space in the shop. And I'm actually looking forward to doing some sanding. <laughs> when was the last time you said that? Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.